Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about Summer Musashi. This isn't gonna be really a review about her, but it's a... She's a servant that I've thought about for a very long time, years in fact. And she's one of my favorites. I mean, this is this might be one of my favorite designs in the game, her second ascension. And um, I feel like she's really fallen behind the pack in this game. And I think she's a really great example of how sometimes Fate Grand Order balancing goes wrong. Um, you know, you can, you, you know, uh, big, big letter words of Fate Grand Order balancing goes wrong. You know, but uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, so I think first I'm going to kind of go over her kit and then sort of uh, compare her to a bunch of other things that have come out and kind of explain and uh, like my thinking and my reasoning why um, she's in a really bad spot. And in my opinion, I don't think one buff will fix it. So again, this will be a little, you know, stream of consciousness, kind of a rambly video that I that I do. So uh, hope you guys will enjoy. So let's uh, start off. Um, summer Musashi, of course, came out in summer 2019. That was a uh, pretty cool summer, really. They, I feel like that summer, this side note, but I feel like that summer they really like. They did almost everyone people wanted. Um, and then the next summer was a little, uh, you know, but anyway. Um... So, first skill, already, like, like, already, this is like, whoa, this is so old. Evasion, one attack, crit damage 50%, one turn, four turn cooldown. One attack evade is wild in 2023. This skill is just, I don't know what it's for, you know. This is not going to be a good enough skill as a berserker um, to be, like, challenge quest thing or whatever, you know. Uh, and then the crit damage is nice, but one turn is not enough. You know, fifty percent though is a lot. Um, then we get the like, oh, here we go. Now, now we're now, you know, now we're now we're rocking. Um, double the number of hits when normal attacking with arts cards. Increase own damage when uh, normal attacking with arts cards for one. Th those are both for one turn. And then increases own NP gen by fifty percent for three turns. This is now now we're talking. This is this is the skill and it was like whoa they gave you know because that was the dream scenario where I was oh we have Musashi's original skill. What if that applied to arts or you know or like she had more arts cards, right? Um because her original only had one, it doubled everything though on 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 on, on hers. But um uh you know it was like oh this is awesome. Okay sick. Uh and then third skill uh is is a doozy but it's not amazing so ignores invisibility for three turns nice ink zone attack for three turns nice grant self gut status for one turn three turns or one time three turns revives with one hp the revive with one hp is like eh, but guts is still nice for a berserker she then hits herself for five thousand five thousand damage she's a berserker and she hits herself for 5,000 damage. Like, in, like, back then, this skill was so, like, this was such, such, like, such a crazy skill that it made sense. But nowadays, when we look at this, it's like, what? Five, I'm not paying 5,000 health for that. You know, it's like, you know, and, and then reduce all enemies' uh, defense uh, for three turns. So, as you can see, of course, we have to kind of think about this was before Castor Toria. Now, did they have her in the works beforehand? Uh, you know, who knows? We're not going to, you know, speculate. But um, probably did not think... Uh, they probably were not at the stage when they made this character that uh, they were thinking they were going to release a cracked uh, art buff, right? So, that's the kit. NP um, is a, a four-hitter with a uh, 51 per, or 0.51 uh, NP charger. So, so the one pause about her, she really charged her NP really well. Um, you know, AoE. They reduce their critical attack chance by 30% for three turns. And then chance to seal all saber enemies NP for one turn. So you can kind of see the makings of like, hey, she kind of has some stuff for like a uh, harder content or a uh, non-farming content, right? Like, I love this critical chance down by 30% for three turns on a Berserker, you know? And then sealing NP or sabers NP, that's like interesting, you know? And then, um, just for the heck of it. Ah, oh, see, this would have been sick. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that have been sick if it was against Lancer? Oh, wait, no, no, my bad. My bad, because Berserkers don't get the extra attack. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, 
so what was I gonna say? So, um, you know, you can kind of see the makings. Okay, you got like this guts thing. You ignore invincibility. Uh, you reduce enemies' defense, which obviously does not carry over waves. You know, um, and then you have this, which is just you know like normal attacking. So like, um, you know, you they they they're incentivizing you to normal attack. And it's like, okay, cool. This is on release. It was like, oh, this is a sick character, right? You know. Then, oh, so we'll fast forward, we'll, we'll skip one, and then we'll come back. So, so then Gastora comes out next year. She, of course, changes the entire game. The game has never been the same since her release. She is the best character in the game, yada yada, this, that, and the other, you know. Um, and then we, then people start cooking, right? Then we're like, okay, here we go. Where my, where my arts loopers at? Well, you have Musashi, who has no battery. Um, and then you have Space Ishtar, who is, a uh, super, who came out three months after Summer Musashi, who is, a uh, pretty much a better looper than Musashi at, like, a, um, not super highly invested, uh, level, right? Um, Space Ishtar was just one of the goats when, 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 when she came out and Artori came out. Um, and it's like, okay, you know, uh feels bad but she's still musashi is still just second place right it's out of two or it's even out of more because there were more aoe loopers right you know but but extra attack and and good and like you know like uh it was only those two right uh for a while um so it's like okay that's fine because in this era i was still using musashi because i think i had her might have had her mp2 um, but it's just because I love Musashi and I just wanted to use her a lot, you know. Um, so we were vibing. And, and, and at this point, right, at this point, 2020, it's just two options. One is better than the other, but it's not by, my, by much. Um, so then we get Kama comes out, right? After after Space Age, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kama comes out. Um, and then it goes, ooh, uh oh, this is like side grade maybe better space ishtar so that's gonna bump musashi down again right um comma's really good comma's amazing uh i may i'm in the works side note i'm in the works of a comma video that's gonna be um uh really uh uh i i think gonna be hopefully entertaining and and and, and uh you know informative hopefully and stuff um but uh stay tuned for that that's soon but anyway um, Kama came out and she was really good. And then that's kind of when, uh, Musashi got retired. She, she became the first base, uh, coach for, uh, my team. Uh, cause Kama is like my most used character. Uh, but, um, so then it's like, okay, it's still only three, right? We're still at only three. We're, we're only at three. Um, we're good. She's still a berserker, right? She's still, she's still berserker. That's, you know, that that's 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 sacred. No one else is a berserker that can loop like that. Um, enter the snake girl. Uh, this is when... I think I was, when on Ibuki release, I was still clinging on to like, no, Musashi's not dead. Musashi's not dead. You know, and so I kind of want to... Um, specify or like explain why i think musashi getting straight up power crept by ibuki and i don't even think that's arguable I, I i think that's pretty just like i don't know what positives uh musashi brings that ibuki doesn't you know but um in this game right typically um there, there there's reasons to use other characters and servants even if they kind of feel the same thing you know but the problem is Musashi does not have that at all. Cause so not only does Ibuki have like the extra, like like she has a niche damage, you know, earth attribute. Uh, I say niche, earth, earth is really big, but you know. Uh, Musashi doesn't have that at all. And she doesn't have a battery. It, 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 she's just missing so much stuff. She's so behind now. She's always been in last place, but it just keeps going down and down, right? And then now that there's a Berserker um, equivalent uh, that's super insane. She just really has no place unless it's super invested. Unless your Summer Musashi is really highly invested compared to um, 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 
Ibuki, right? You know? And then that's not even to, to talk about just, like, you can't even really use Masashi outside of farming, but, you know, right now as she is, you know? Um, so it's like, okay, she's a four-year-old character, right? Actually, one more one more character. Then Melisine came out. Obviously, you know, not this, you know, she's not a berserker, but this sort of, like, started really um, planting the flag for, um, a like, AoE arts we're just going to get probably one every year, and Musashi has never caught up. She's never, ever caught up, and I think that's a problem. So, I kind of want to explain, um, like, why her situation is different uh, than some other ones, because she... Like, Musashi, like I said, is ne never had a niche, never, you know, whatever. But I don't even think one buff could fix her. Because what we'd want is for her to at least be a little bit below Buki and on the same level as your Kamas and your Melisines now, right? Um, and your Space Ishtars, you know. It, it, Space Ishtar even now could maybe use a buff, but that's a different video. Um, like, we're not even asking for... Let's put her at Ibuki's level. I don't even think that would be possible to happen, but, you know. Um, and you kind of start going, okay, how do you do this then? Uh, and I don't think it's as simple as giving a battery, we're good, you know, shake my hand. Because that just makes her just worse Ibuki and has a, does not bring anything special to the table. What I think they should do is sort of uh, go into this side... Um, like, like, side grade and start maybe buffing, like, the first skill to be, like, a, you know, make, do they, would they ever do this? Maybe, like, a protection from air, like, like, a three attack evade, you know, and then throw on, like, an arch buff, you know, on this skill on a four turn cooldown. Um, don't give her a battery, because if you give her a battery plus this, then we might be cooking, uh, um, you know, but, um, you know, something like that to make her kind of unique and go, hey, here's this servant that we want you to use for um, farming, but you also can use them in certain challenge quests, you know, or, or, or harder non-farming content, you know, because that's what I like, and that's why I think it will be like the end game of like servant uh, kits and stuff. It's like, hey, farming, we're good on that. I think I talked about this on a different video, maybe Melusine. Um, farming, we are we're good, you know, we're not going to have any breakthroughs on farming until Quick gets buffed, um, so let's try to make niches and try to make, um, sort of side grades and stuff, right, I, I just looked at my door, <laughs> um, and I think Musashi is going to get a buff, I should have said that, we're 13 minutes in, I, I should have said, she's going to get a buff, I'm so confident she's going to get a buff, I'm just really worried it's going to be a battery set and forget, see you later. You know, and I just think that would be awful. That would not put her on par with any of these other characters. Um, it wouldn't even get her close to a Buki. She needs, she needs like two buffs because she needs like an NP buff that's like a niche hitter or something. Or maybe you, you, you put like some niche, you know, thing on here, you know. So I don't know. Maybe you go like... Could you do something? Here, here's an idea. I just thought it was on the spot. What if you go, like, for three turns, you get one hit evade every turn. So, like, every turn you get a stack of evade. Um, with it, it, so, so, like, you're missing a first attack every turn. And then, you, and then you keep your crit damage. Then you get your arts up. And then you get some sort of niche hitter. All on this skill. And it's a four-turn cooldown. Would that be crazy? I don't think so for this character. I don't think so. Because you still don't have a battery, right? Because um, then you still have this skill, which is just not good in 2023. You know, it's just five, hit yourself 5,000, bro. That's a lot for a Berserker, you know? And this, in the, like, ignoring invisibility is awesome, you know? But it's not, but, you know, to, to an extent, uh, uh, a Buki can do that. She she removes, it's so like the thing with the Buki, she removes it so if, so if you're, Facing, like, a non-removable thing. Masashi's better, you know? So, like, the, just get us there, right? Get us to, oh, here's a situation where there's a non-removable invincibility. Let me let me try Musashi out, you know? And I think, la I think that's my point on, like, 
the buffs and stuff. And then my, my last thing is about how, like, it's really hard to incentivize or, or to, to, like, um, tell people, like, hey, you should, you know, summoning for Musashi over Buki is okay. Because it's not, like, it, like Musashi is the worst is it of of these of these people we're talking about in this video you know and 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 i um wish they would do something about it and 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 i think that kind of brings us to our overarching point is like the balance of the game and and how like the balance of this game the game is balanced around being able to use your favorites and the game is not like hard enough that you need all the best characters in the entire game you know but there are old characters that don't have the philosophy of, like, the New Age, I almost want to say post-Castoria um, design philosophy, where they go, here's a servant we're putting out that is very similar to another servant, but we're going to give them a reason to um, exist alongside and reasons why you'd bring them. Like, a best example is, I didn't bring these up, but, like, because um, Raiko got a buff, uh, yeah, here's Raiko, and then, um, and then, um, of course, Arjuna, um, sorry, I'm doing this on the flat, on the flat, but now, you know, Arjuna and, and, and Raiko are, like, similar, because Raiko got a buff, but there's reasons to bring both, right, you know, and I really like that, I, I, I think that's a, a awesome idea that they should start doing to translate mess that up, um, and I just... I think Musashi is too far down. She's gone four years without a buff. That I don't think one buff fixes that. And then we get onto this train of, okay, if they only do one buff per time, uh, which is what they do and I think is a bad thing, if they only do one skill or one MP buff per time, are we really going to go an entire length of time between a first Summer Musashi buff and a second Summer Musashi buff without... For example, Space Ishtar getting buffed ever? Maybe, but I, I doubt it. Just just the frequency of buffs nowadays, it, I, I just don't think that's going to happen. And anyway, to wrap up the video, it's I, I've really changed my stance over the few year over the you know the past years because I've always been the oh it's fine because you can use you can still use her because you know she's one of your favorites yada yada and of course you still can. But now the emphasis is very much on if you want her to even compete with Ibuki, she's got to be, like, super highly invested. And Ibuki, you only pro pretty much just need one NP. Or, I mean, uh, not one, or, like, one, you know, one copy, NP1, you know. Um, and that's sort of my feelings on, 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 like, why, like, my feelings has started to change. Because it's like, before it was like, oh, well... Either way, you have to invest so much into these characters for them to really, really be at the peak that it's like you could just choose your, you know, choose your character, you know, choose your, choose your favorite one. If Musashi's your favorite one, yeah, you're going to have some downsides, but the game is not hard enough where it's going to matter. But now, Ibuki does whatever, everything that Musashi would even dream of doing, and you still have to, like, have, like, a exaggeration, but you still have to have, like, an MT5 Musashi to even, like, come close to Ibuki, you know, and she still doesn't have a battery you know um i think that's pretty much my feelings and why i've changed is because i realized like whoa we keep getting characters and we haven't gotten a musashi buff and it's kind of crazy so that's going to be the end of the video i hope that uh was interesting or or you know let let me know what you guys think about musashi and and, and just balance in this game in general um and yeah i i would i would imagine she would get a buff um when Samurai Remnant comes out, that's my guess. It would be also awesome if she got the um, the costume from Samurai Remnant because she's a berserker in Samurai Remnant, so that'd be sick. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, if you guys, if you disagree with me, please, uh, you know, let me know in the comments because I'd really love to hear just what you guys think. And if you think, you know, I I, I misinterpreting things or, or um, um, you know, whatever, if, you know, because because I think this is a really interesting topic. Uh, for this game and I think Musashi is very much at the center of this like balance problem this 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 uh, sort of design like wall they've hit 
where they just keep pumping out arch loopers over and over and over and over again. And every time it pushes one down and it only, it, it takes like five or six to come out for you to really realize, whoa, she's at the bottom and it's bad and it looks really bad, you know? Like at this point now, this might be a hot take, but I feel like Space Ishtar is not that good looking of a character anymore compared to like any of these other loopers that have come out. I, like we're not, we're even leaving out a Buki, but just like, so Kama came out and I was like, okay, Kama's, Kama's pretty nice, you know? Kama's pretty, pretty lit. And then, um, Melusine comes out and now it's like, oh, Melusine might, this hot take, hot take territory. We're 20 minutes in, so, so you know, but, uh, Melusine might be better than Kama. Where does that put Space Ishtar, you know? And then imagine all of that and, and, and Musashi has been just sitting at the bottom eating her noodles uh, the whole time. And uh, yeah, so that's that's going to be it from me. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Uh, the comma video will come out soon, very soon. I, I, I need to finish writing the script and then um, I'll have to film it. Um, that'll be fun. And then after that, um, you know, I'll still do fate videos and stuff, but definitely if you want to just see sort of, I don't want to say the V word variety, but if you just want to see um, other stuff from me, uh, please subscribe. I'd love, I'd love uh, that. Probably some anime and uh, manga stuff, maybe. And uh, yeah, just uh, the, U the YouTube thing. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye bye.